What is happening, y'all? Welcome back to Cinders. So, um, let's see, a couple things. I got a, I got this thing from trading the item with the crow. Sorcerer bro didn't have anything for us. And aside from that, we're, you know, just ready to continue. So, let's, uh, get going. Never catch me. All right. So first thing is first. We got to get that shortcut opened up. Oh man, I just remembered. Fire is like the best shit for this area too. You can it stops those uh, those bleedy guys. Yeah. That's a really good decision then. Here, you ugly bastard. Well, it kills them, but it's not going to stop the bleed build up on me, it looks like. Top off, because I'm about to take a big old hit, probably. Nope, not what I wanted. But it does look like bleed build up has, or not build up, but uh, bleed damage has been changed in general. Have to like heal between every one of those. Oh, shit. Did y'all notice that? I think hitting with fire applies a small damage over time effect. That's really cool. That's almost making me want, want to use uh, fire weapons. Oh, Jesus Christ. Could these things stop? I know they take like forever and then some to fall off, but like, goddamn. I wonder if that's an effect of my uh, enchantment I have on. Because that's really freaking useful. I wonder how long it goes for. Maybe it's like 10 seconds? Things are like full on mini bosses now. Take that scale, thank you, thank you. thing. The scythe is monstrous now. Especially enchanted with the fire. I think it yeah, persists when I switch. That is really cool. I am thoroughly satisfied with the decision to make this fire as opposed to uh, opposed to going dark. Though once I get... I'm assuming there's a, a dark ember thing I can find as well. Once I find that, it is go time. Now I want to test. Let's see. Oh, damn, the fire still stays on? Shit, dude. Let me take it off, then put it back on. No, it's still going! It's like a, is it like a permanent fucking buff? I mean, it's badass. Let's see. There's nothing there, yeah. Used forge flame weapon release the latent power of fire infused weapons upon use boosting fire damage and shrouding the weapon in flame so I think it just it gives it a permanent uh permanent fire buff which 
just means that this scythe is now one of the most badass weapons I have ever played through Dark Souls with. check the scaling on that, because a store of greatsword used to be um, pretty much like a top tier weapon for doing infusions. Had really solid base damage, really high scaling. I'm really digging this, especially this this one-handed uh, this one-handed R2 is delightful. Executioners, gather up. No! Oh man, I don't know if this attack counts as. Oh, no, it doesn't matter because it's gonna fucking kill. Wow. That was intense. So when you die, you lose the buff. But this raises the question. I want to see if it's if I still get the uh, the fire dot, or if that's only with my enchantment. Oh, I do! Wow, that's badass. So fire weapons in general now just do that. I wonder if like dark has like do other things have an auxiliary effect now? Like will magic I don't know better penetrate defenses and lightning slows the enemy? Almost kind of how. Uh, you know how mechanics worked in like Neo? Because if not, I mean, if they don't, it's fine, but if it's only fire that gets this badass update like that, I don't know, man. I feel like that makes fire kind of fucking OP, right? damage on everything we hit which is awesome because I think one of the most frustrating things in souls is when you hit something and it has that like little tiny sliver of health like you killed it but you just barely didn't and uh, with us seeing tick damage that is no longer a thing you know like we're gonna hit something like that perfect example hit him and guess what he's dead Is my shit. Which one of you bastards has my souls? They gotta be up top still. How did I miss that? Going into the wrong area for him. Oh, it was a backside of... Backside of that area, that's why. Out of my way. I am the Reaper, and you will all be put down into graves. I'm gonna be honest with y'all, this is, I don't think I've enjoyed Dark Souls 3 this much since, like, launch. This is so awesome. Oh, I see. You're still scary.
Bad your AI has it improved, ugly. Oh my god! I like that little pursuing soul. Tried to come back and finish off the job, but womp womp. Looks like I'm gonna have to do some parrying for for her. All right, though. We got our giant scythe now, which I'm pretty sure I'm gonna keep fire. Just because, I mean, the residual damage on it is awesome, and this thing has big slow swings, so it's like I can hit multiple enemies, light them all up. And then I don't know what the... I think dark is just a flat bonus damage, but that makes it better for uh, the quick weapon that I have. Though it does feel a little bit overpowered. <laughs> I mean, to, to be honest, this does feel uh, slightly unfair. But at the same time, these are enemies that are, are weak to fire naturally, so I mean, it makes sense to that extent. It's not like I'm just going around insta giving everything, I'm giving enemies that are already known to get fucked up by fire. just had to get me with your little wormies, didn't you? Should burn out. This bone shard is still there. We can unlock the, uh... important shortcut. Yep. I don't know if it's impressive or sad just how much like item memory I have. Like, oh yep, this is where I get the shield, this is where I get this, this is where I like Uh too many hours spent. Where am I sitting at? Uh, Damn. I really need to find something that I can farm some Titanite off of. Really like to upgrade this thing further. Oh my god! Oh my god, what just happened to me? Oh my god! You know, the fire they have is no joke. Thankfully, they killed each other for the most part. Oh my god, those arrows! Do I have, like, non-existent piercing defense? First strike, first slash, first thrust. It's all really low. Uh, yeah, my basically my absorption against everything but magic is just potato. That's the problem. Oh my god! Oh. Stop with that crazy ass crossbow! Damn, I don't. Mm, it's not good. Like I, I don't know if I'll be able to make it. The uh, much damage as I took. 
Those guys. Throw your bullshit all you want. I don't have the ability to uh, heal anyway. No. You're not playing. You come up and hit me from behind. Oh my god, how long do you carry that for? Oh, oh man. Well, I got the shortcut, so we can go pretty quick, get back there. Remember, we go this way, up this way. Don't want to get hit by a wormy boy. No. Even though we're playing at 60 FPS, I feel like the game itself is like trying to go higher. I think I touched on this back in uh, the first episode, but this. I don't know. It feels way, way smoother than I remember Dark Souls 3 being. She's not gonna mess with me. I'm okay with that. Let's try something here. Forgot the ladder's right there to climb up there. Sworn, I just saw a ladder right there. Oh, uh, okay. It was the it was the pillar. It just looked like a ladder. Not today, asshole. Where's your little friend at? There he is. Hey, you. Down. Who the fuck? Ow, who? Those heavy bolts are no joke. No! You little bitches! Oh, it's the worst. Like, I knew they were there. I was ready for them. I was attacking. And still... Uh, Alright. Um... All right, just, just for this part, just for this part. We are going to... Go heavier. Oh, heavy K. 
can I get here? Lock that and put on um, a fat roll. All right, that's fine. That's fine. I can, I can, I can deal with this. I'm just taking, I'm taking way too much damage. I know I can pop an ember, but really don't want to have to. Like, the, like, I mean, all right, the ember would give me the health, but I am very much a fan of using an ember as like an emergency heal. And in all these areas, I'm just getting gibbed with plenty of Estus left. We'll see. If I'm still getting just chunked, I will switch it up. Hey, you, come here. Oh wow, that tickled. I like how through the entirety of that animation, she's still taking the burn damage. Blood Red Moss, that's very useful to have. seems to be pretty pretty damn good. On, Porky Pig, let's go. I think I got a blood proc there too. Good. Let me see, does it enhance dark magic? Boost the potency of dark sorceries. Pyromancies and miracles. Damn. Well, I know what I'm about to be using. <laughs> yeah. Backstab fishing wild fat rolling. That's a first. See? Like, perfect. If I did not have my heavy, I would have died. Get down. Die. I mean, we're going to be going back to the, the hex gear. But, at least in this, this little part. I'd say this is arguably one of the harder parts early game still. 
Because there's a lot of bullshit to take on, and especially for a, uh, a lighter build like this, it is quite easy to get overwhelmed. No suicide. Oh, thank you. I didn't I forgot about that guy, so very kind of you taking him out for me. Never been a better time to pop a number than right now. No! Oh god, it went off. No! No! <laughs> oh, she still fucking got me! Oh. Oh. I was so close. I was so close. I had. Oh my god. All right, fuck it. This time we're going in with health popped off to begin with. See, that's. I think that's a um, another thing is I had when I was in my light gear. The the bleed buildup, all that it like tickled, and this time like whole oh, fuck it chunked. They definitely reworked it to where like if you're. You know, if you're light armor running around as a mage, like, hits will hurt, but bleed doesn't do much, it seems. But heavy armor like this, it's like bleed is the anti-heavy armor now, it seems. But we're going to do something right now that you all know we should never do in Dark Souls. That is, we are going to run all the way to our corpse. Everything we know about Dark Souls says this is a terrible fucking idea, and I'm about to lose 20,000 souls. But you know what? Oh. Alright, that was that was top 10 deaths I've ever seen in souls. Get mid-rolls? Oh, we can't. Big time with them speed run strats. Ability. You can do nothing. Witness your uselessness. Alright, listen, I know you're feeling left out here. Oh, okay. So we made it. Oh god, she's waiting for me. I did not think she'd be right there. Burn, you whore. I said burn! Okay. Okay, let's get back to... Skinny rolls. Was the Hexer set in Dark Souls 3? I feel like it had to be. We're getting him. Um, uh, where is... There's my baby. And... Here we go. Okay. So, we've made it. 
uh, back to our, our quick rolls. Um, or I'll kill you real quick. There's some items out here that I need to grab. And then we're going to be doing the cathedral proper. But since we're at 30 minutes, y'all know how I feel about going over that mark. So we're going to wrap things up here. And we will continue 